So this is the full story of the Giganotosaurus and it is truly a tragic story from the start. At least a single Giganotosaurus was among the cloned dinosaurs by Biosyn and was kept in their valley. And at some point the Giganotosaurus had a chip inserted into its brain allowing it to be controlled when needed. Which in itself is quite inhumane. But more on that later. The Giga lived 99 million years ago and could reach speeds up to 50 kilometers an hour. Now actually the Giganotosaurus wouldn't have ever seen a Tyrannosaurus because they lived in different periods, much like the majority of the dinosaurs in Jurassic World anyway. The Giganotosaurus is one of the biggest dinosaurs ever in the Jurassic franchise, although a lot of people say that about the Spinosaurus, but we won't get into that. The Giganotosaurus does have remnants of the Indominus Rex because the Giganotosaurus DNA was actually used by InGen back in 2014 for the construction and cloning of the Indominus Rex, giving you the sheer scale and power of this beast. Now what makes this story so tragic is the fact that the Giga is obviously in the Biosyn Valley and has been there since its birth. It's quite scarred up, it's clearly been in a lot of battles and we see it as the main antagonist for the Dominion movie. But I really don't think it is actually the antagonist. We see it first off fighting for territory with the Tyrannosaurus and fighting for its food source, much like most Alpha and Apex Predators do in the wild, challenging their food source, challenging their opponents for the food like it does with Rexy. Now it doesn't end there, we're just getting started. Here. The pair have a brief trussle over the carcass until the Tyrannosaurus backs off allowing the Giganotosaurus to feed on the carcass. That night as well a swarm of giant locusts set on fire by Lewis Dodgson in an attempt to erase his criminal activity makes their way down to the Biosyn Valley and sets the Biosyn Valley on fire. Now this is where something else happens to the Giganotosaurus which is out of its control. At this point when the Biosyn Valley is on fire the Giganotosaurus must be terrified. Where it encounters does Owen, Clay, Ian, Alan, you know, the group, and it follows them slowly. It doesn't actually attack them straight off. It's just wondering what they're doing. It's just slowly following them until Maisie attempts to climb that ladder into the observation tower, at which point it does then attack the ladder and go for Maisie. This is where Ian Malcolm actually tries to set it on fire by throwing a metal bar into the predator's mouth when it lunges at him. Bearing in mind, he does actually provoke the Giganotosaurus by waving that fire and then throws that burning metal pole into his mouth. Now he doesn't stop there. This is where Zeb actually gets cut by Owen Grady's knife, then gets its eyeball electrocuted, and then gets shot in the face with a tranquilizer dart. All for just being in its own territory at the wrong place at the wrong time. And this dinosaur is literally just living out its life in the sanctuary. Not to mention it's got all these scars already on its body, but more on that later. Now, as the fire worsened, Biosyn used the chips they implanted in their animals to call them into the center of the Biosyn research facility. As the Giga moved through the area, it was challenged again by the old T-Rex. And the two began battling. The Giganotosaurus managed to knock Rexy unconscious almost the same way it did with her ancestor back in the prologue 65 million years ago. Again, the Giganotosaurus was forced into this situation against its will because of that brain implant. If it was out in the wild, it never would be brought in a situation with all these apex predators together to fight to the death. Which brings me on to the point earlier about its scars. Now this Giganotosaurus was clearly in many battles before the cast of Jurassic World Dominion had entered the Biosyn Valley, showing some level of mistreatment. Now I know they want to go for a pure animal, but you wouldn't put your animals in that level of danger. And it gives me the vibes of the Manticorp Island from Camp Cretaceous, where they basically just fought and used the dinosaurs as battling machines. And I fear that this same thing has happened to the Giganotosaurus and they just seem to be putting it in more and more tragic situations. Now after he's fought Rexy and Rexy was knocked unconscious, it then has to deal with the Therizinosaurus. Again, with the Therizinosaurus being in the Biosyn Valley against its will because of these chips, the two dinosaurs fight each other with the aggressive herbivore landing nasty slashing blows against the larger theropod until Rexy basically regains her consciousness. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking that the Giga was the big bad dinosaur of Jurassic World Dominion and it was portrayed as the antagonist but in the reality it was there just living its life in the sanctuary and wasn't really out to kill anyone or get anyone it was just purely 
there. These fights basically just happened because he was brain controlled into the situation. Now, with it having just fought and beaten the T-Rex, because Rex is unconscious at this stage, having bought the theory Xenosaurus and was holding his own, it probably would have backed off and left the situation. But at this point, Rexy regains consciousness, the theory Xenosaurus is still there, and the Giga is now finding itself cornered. The Giganotosaurus was unable to determine quickly enough which enemy was the greater threat, which allowed the Tyrannosaurus to bite its neck, ram it into the claws of the theory Xenosaurus, impaling the predator in the neck and body before eventually died seconds after it dropped to the ground. So poor Zeb the Giga was actually killed for being in his own sanctuary, living out his own life and not really doing anything as much. And sure, yeah, it does chase the humans a little bit because it's an alpha predator and at first it doesn't even attack them anyway. I mean, if someone's offering you a free burger, would you take it? Of course you would. Unless obviously you're vegan, would you take a vegan burger instead? So after being brain controlled into that situation and it's supposed to be a sanctuary, the Giga was killed and my I find this very tragic for the Giga because it wasn't actually a bad dinosaur as such. Nothing like the Velociraptors anyway, in my opinion. Very reminiscent of the misunderstood Spinosaurus. Now, I know what you might be thinking, how is the Spinosaurus misunderstood? Go and check this video out because it will tell you all about it and there'll probably be things in there which you do not know about the Spinosaurus. But since this Giganotosaurus Zeb was the only known specimen of its kind to have been cloned, it is possible that the species has now fell back into extinction when it died at the claws of the theory Xenosaurus. However, it is possible that unknown specimens or genetic material is still available somewhere in the world. We may even have another Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus, however you pronounce it, would be somewhere in the world. And I recommend checking this video out all on the Giga and how there's multiple Gigas out in the world. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed today's story. Go watch the other videos. I'd like to thank my patrons as always. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and YouTube members. Thank you very much. And if you want to know all about that, check the video's description. Thanks guys and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.